Hi friends, it's good to see you. I'm sitting on my front porch where I have a good view of my neighborhood. Would you like to see it too? As you can see, my family lives in a place where the houses are pretty close together. So we see our neighbors a lot. I love this neighborhood because people help each other. The little girl next door takes care of our kitties when we're away, and our neighbor on the other side teaches at our daughter's school and is always willing to babysit. When it snows, we work together to shovel the sidewalks and clear the streets, and in the summer, we help each other mow the grass in front of our houses. I love living in a place where neighbors help each other. What is your neighborhood like? I'm thinking about neighbors because of today's story from the Gospel of Luke. In this story, a man asks Jesus a question. He asks, who is my neighbor? And Jesus answers in a surprising way. He does not say, those who live nearby. He does not say, those who help shovel the snow or take care of your cats. Instead, Jesus tells a story. A man was walking from Jerusalem to Jericho when he came upon some robbers. The robbers hit the man. They took his money, they took his clothes, they hurt him badly and left him alone on the side of the road. The man needed help. A little while later, a priest passed by. He saw the injured man, but he didn't stop. Then came someone who worked in the temple. He saw the injured man, but he didn't stop either. Finally, a third man came down the road. This man was a Samaritan. He came from a different place and his people didn't always get along with the people who lived in Jerusalem. But the Samaritan stopped to help the injured man. He cleaned and bandaged the man's wounds. Then the Samaritan put the injured man on his donkey and took him to a safe place where he could rest and get better. When Jesus finished telling his story, he asked, which man was a neighbor to the man who was hurt by robbers? The one who showed mercy, the one who helped. Jesus then told the people, and he tells us, go and live like him. The Samaritan was a helper. He took care of the man who needed help, and this made him a good neighbor. Being a good neighbor is not about where you live. Neighbors are not only the people who live next door or across the street. Neighbors are not only the people you see around the neighborhood when you're playing outside or taking a walk. God wants us to be neighbors to everyone we meet. People of every size and shape, people of every color and age, people who live close by and people who live far away. God wants us to be good neighbors by being good helpers. Because all of these people, those who are like us and those who are different from us, they are all our neighbors and they are all special to God. Friends, let's pray. And I hope you and everyone watching with you will join me in our echo prayer. Dear God, help us to be good neighbors by being good helpers to everyone we meet. Amen. Bye neighbor, I'll see you next time.